We want to graph the equation 4x squared plus y equals 4. We want to do this with the table method by plugging in our values for x. So, what you've noticed I've already done here is you want to solve the equation for y first. That way it makes it easier to plug in the x values. You can just plug in the x value and you get a corresponding y value. I did that by moving the 4x squared across the equal sign becomes negative. So now I'm ready to start plugging in my x values. I put in a negative 2 in place of the x. Don't forget to square it. And now I want to work it out. 4 minus 4, negative 2 times negative 2 is positive 4. So I get 4 minus 16 and that's going to be negative 12. Okay, so now what I want to do is create an xy column so I can have all these listed out in one spot. I want to do the next one. I'm going to put in negative 1 in place of the x. And I want to work this one out. This is 4 times negative 1 times negative 1 is 1. So I get 4 minus 4 which is going to be equal to 0. So now the next coordinate is going to be negative 1, 0. I'm going to fill all these in first and I'll make my column of x and y values. 4 minus 4 times 0 squared is going to be 4 minus 0 because 0 times anything is 0 and you get 4 so 0, 4 is your next coordinate. 4 minus 4 times 1 squared that's the same thing as 4 minus 4 that's going to be 0. Then finally I put in 2 squared 4 minus 4 times 4 which is 4 minus 16 which is going to be negative 12. Now that I have all these complete I'm going to go ahead and fill in this column now that I have all of them done and get my list of points to plot. I have negative 2 and negative 12, negative 1, 0, 0, 4, 1, 0, here and then 2 negative 12. These are the list of points that I want to now plot and that's going to create my curve. So once I, since I have these I'm going to go ahead and erase all this. If you still need more time to write it down just pause the video or rewind it. Okay so I'm going to make a, a graph on this one. I have negative 2 and I have negative 12 Negative 2, negative 12 is going to be right there. Next, I want to do negative 1, 0. That's this one here. 0, 4. 0, 4 is right there on top. Then I have 1, 0 is here. And then I have 2, and negative 12 is down here. The graph you have should resemble a parabola shaped or a U shaped. And that's common for ones where you have an x squared. And it's opening down. In a later section, you're going to see how to graph these without plotting points. That's when we get into transformations. And there's rules that, that say if the parabola is opening down or it's opening up. The last thing it asks us for is they want us to find the intercepts. There's two ways of doing this. You can either look at the intercepts directly off the graph itself. And we can see that for the x-intercept, it's crossing at negative 1, 0, and 1, 0. So we can just list those just like that. The y-intercept, it's crossing at 4, and we indicate 4, 0. Okay, now if, you're just a, if you just put the number only, 1 and negative 1 and 4, that's also okay to, just to write your answer just as numbers only, but as points, they would look like this. Now you could also identify them from your list of values that you have here just by knowing the fact that whenever you have x-intercepts the y values are always zero so you could point those out right here from your table that these are both going to be x-intercepts and then if you have a zero in the x position that means you have a y-intercept and that's going to be right here so you could do that one of two ways you use the graph or you could look at your set of points that you have and you can get them that way